Special thanks goes to our gold sponsor, Accenture. Hi, my name is Maxime. Uh, you might know me as Iwan. Um, I'm actually from Belgium. I work at PySync in the city center of Ghent, um, syncing contacts all day, every day. Uh, around two years ago, uh, Sander Spice, when he wasn't down, deep down in his rabbit hole, uh, he showed me how to modify uh, the recent parser and printer. And so since then, uh, I've been spending way too much of my free time uh, trying to improve reason. Code formatting is very hot these days. Uh, Golang has the Go formatter um, prettier. Recently, it set the whole JavaScript world on fire. Rust has one. Uh, it's like every major language ships with a pretty printer these days. Uh, my question is, what is a code formatter? Is it a compiler? Is it a linter? What does it do? What does it mean? Maybe it's AI. In fact, um, a code formatter is it's a very simple tool. It takes the text, the source code of your program, uh, it anal analyzes its meaning to a certain degree, uh, and then, based on the analysis, reprints the whole source text. Uh, in essence, it's a function from ugly text to beautiful text. Uh, there are two levels. Uh, first of all, we have the concrete syntax uh, or the original source code of your program. This, this gets parsed into an abstract syntax tree, or AST for short. What is that? Uh, it's a very simple re representation um, that renders the underlying structure of the original source code very clear for a computer. Um, it's based on the AST that the whole source code of your text uh, get reco gets reconstructed. My question is, what if the reason for matter turns out to be a total piece of garbage in the next two years? Um, part of our jobs as programmers is to figure out uh, what is good, what is bad, uh, what works, and what is actually uh, total junk. To simplify the question a bit, uh, what is the actual impact of using the reason formatter uh, in production? Uh, to figure that out, uh, we can ask ourselves a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, what are the best in the world doing? Um, if you look at Google, uh, they have the Go formatter for Golang at a massive scale. Uh, the messenger.com team uses the reason formatter. The React team uses Prettier. Um, that makes me think uh, it has to mean something to a certain degree. Whatever you're doing, uh, never stray too far from the basics, uh, the foundation of what you're trying to accomplish. They underpin everything. Um, also ask yourself, what is the desired effect? And then ask yourself, what is the actual effect? Is it uh, because you want to please some best practice? Or is it because some guy from Facebook tweeted about it and you're thinking, oh my god, a new tool, I need to use it. No, you need to stop and ask, um, why are you doing what you're doing? So let's take a step back, programming 101. We create programs uh, to direct certain processes. Uh, those processes might live in our mind or in the outside world. We model them with our programs. Uh, we program in a certain programming language. Um, that's a way of getting a computer to perform certain things, like, hey, browser, uh, render button, or allocate an array of 10 items. Um, it's also a tool or a medium to express some of your ideas, and this has actually um, large consequences uh, for a code formatter. At our day jobs, we're also confronted with massive complexity of larger software systems. We're trying to build the right abstractions. We're in the business of uh, problem solving. I think that the meaning, the foundation of programming is somewhere to be found um, at the intersection of those four ideas. Now, why, if we're in the business of solving problems, there's so much time wasted on white space, indentation, uh, braces per ends, during development, but also during code review. 
which are the things worth fretting about the most. I think we need to be very carefully um, with our en energy, especially our mental energy. Uh, we need to allocate it towards the areas that have the most impact. And I think that's solving problems and not commenting on the diff of your um, teammates. Uh, please add a trailing comma. So what is the desired effect? Uh, what do we want from the reasoned formatter? We want to write without distractions. We don't care for white space, uh, braces, parents, uh, line length limits. Um, the formatter should do it for us. Remember that a program um, or a program language is also a medium uh, to express some of your ideas. What does it mean? Um, the output from a code formatter uh, should be highly readable so that other programs other programmers can understand the ideas that you're trying to express uh, through your code. Um, since then, um, a formatter also operates on the syntax level, it should help with automating changes uh, related to syntax. So what is the actual impact of using refined uh, or reformat um, or the reason formatter in the wild? To this day, um, as long as you don't type any syntax error, um, you can write without distractions. You don't have to care for uh, white space, alignment, uh, indentation, line length limits. You just hit a button in your editor, and wow. Look at this nice uh, indented and aligned code. So you as a developer, uh, you can focus on uh, solving the actual problems and not um, waste time on uh, minor formatting concerns. This is a very interesting use case. A couple of weeks ago, I wrote a Webpack plugin. If you don't know what the hashtags mean, uh, I modeled Webpack API through a camel objects, um, and they require using hashtags to call a method. Uh, there are a couple of interesting things uh, to note. Um, about the output from the formatter. First of all, the last argument passed um, to the tap async method is function. This means that this whole block is a callback. What does the reason formatter do? It detects that this whole block is a, a callback and will visually um, align it for you. So when you read this code, it's very clear this is a callback. Then you've got a chain of uh, operators. If you don't know what that means, what the code means, it's not important. The important thing is uh, the formatting output. The reason formatter um, will align every expression on a different row, so it's very clear that first build assets is evaluated, then JSON stringify, and eventually um, nodes write file. This is actually um, a feature that got merged last week. Um, you as a developer now uh, are in control of white space. Um, and the reason formatter detects the, the white space that you inserted and it will preserve them to some degree. So you as a developer are in control to group certain sections of your code together. In my opinion, um, this piece of code is a real pleasure to read, thanks to reformat. Um, back when Reason came out two years ago, um, the, synt was, the syntax was somewhere 50% between OCaml and JavaScript. Uh, now the latest syntax is basically um, a JavaScript clone. Uh, the problem at the time was um, the whole ecosystem was written in the old syntax. And now we had a new syntax. Um, it's thanks to reformat that we had a um, simple script that could convert the old syntax in the new syntax. Because it's because um, the formatter works on the AST level and not on the original um, syntax. Um, basically, syntax is now decoupled from the meaning, the structure of your program. So what's next? Um, I've got a question for every one uh, of you. Um, we need feedback. Um, please ping me day and night, weekends included. 
uh, on Discord, Twitter, or uh, GitHub. Um, everything that comes to your mind about reformats, um, give your opinion, opinion and um, share it with me. This is the only way that reformats um, is going to reach the next level. Um, that's it. <laughs>